Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising as well, weekly tarot reading August 12th to uh, August 18th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and then we are to jump um, straight into it. All right. I think that that's good enough. So, uh, the very first card which represents the topic of your week, Cancer, is going to be the Six of Wands, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. That will be the Temperance. So, uh, to me, it looks like to a very, uh, how can I say it, productive week which uh, could blind you for a little bit. Uh, what I mean is that, uh, well, the thing with these two cards is that uh, uh, an approach of yours or a means of yours are going to really give results. I mean, you are to reach a, a very desirable milestone, milestone, excuse me. And uh, I would say that you played a little bit tricky here by just looking at these cards back in the day so you can reach that result. You got away with it and you may think that, you know, you're going to get away with it again. It's not going to happen. All right. So it's time now, you know, what is done is done. What is reached is reached is reached, all right? So you can consolidate on this position, take your rewards, um, enjoy the appreciation and, and, and the recognition and all that. But from now on, it's time to get serious. Uh, the positive aspect here is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And the last one that we do have, it is the guidance of the King of Pentacles. Very interesting at the end. It's just, it does, um, it does represent the consolidation, cleaning up the mess, all right? It's, it's like cleaning up the mess that you're going to have no problem whatsoever. Now, uh, when I said uh, that you have done something clever, I meant that you have cut some corners, didn't play by the rules uh, of the game, and you got away with it. That, that, that's awesome, all right? I'm, I'm not saying that you have done something nefarious or anything like that. It's just, you know, you found a better way. Uh, which was uh, kind of like an uh, unauthorized, I would say, right? So it's time that you kind of like clean up that mess or it's just you made it messy and now it's time to clean up your mess. The point is, uh, is that this week as you reach this, um, this stepping stone, you know, of your goal, uh, it's... Uh, uh, you should take a moment here and uh, consolidate or rather secure on what your achievements are instead of pushing even further because it's, it looks like that you do have the, uh, the conquest, you, you have reached triumphing over it, but one thing is to conquer, the other thing is to maintain. Look at the Alexander the Great, right? The Alexander the Great, he conquered uh, almost... <clears throat> um, all of the Eastern Asia, right, for 10 years, because he couldn't maintain it. His, his um, descendants couldn't maintain it. It's one thing to conquer, the other thing is to maintain. So you conquered, and now it's time to maintain, 
and you cannot do it the same way you have made your conquest, okay? It does require different sets of skill. It does require different, um, how can I place it, mindset as well. And this week, you will have to find those different sets of skills. You will have to find or to adopt this different mindset. Because if I have to continue on with the example of conquering a nation, you conquer it with, with fire and steel, but you maintain it through management okay you don't need any more the military force or the military power or because you will have no one to rule over i mean you cannot simply you know slaughter everybody who is disobedient you need to make them obey with something you give or you know something that it's, it's basically makes their life believable that is just an example here the point is is that these are two different things that goes hand by hand and should you want to stay on the same position which you just won you need to do something to maintain it so before we go to the, and scrutinize the reading let's run down the cards one more time we do have the six of wands here as a topic followed by the temperance card which stands as a challenges here afterwards it is the uh, queen of pentacles which represents the positive aspect of the week uh, and the last one it is the king of pentacles which stands for the guidance All right so six of wands uh, it's a typical card of of triumph and victory All right it is just the card pointing that this week is going to be this uh, you know, peak experience that you have worked and waited for, right? Either a recognition into your job, that you are very successful into your work, or either because uh, you're going to start dating with the person you want to, right? Or you're going to get married for your your uh, girlfriend or a boyfriend, or it's because you simply want an appreciation and it's going to come around. Whatever you are hoping for here, right? Like to uh, your efforts to achieve and your conquest to produce, it's going to happen throughout this week, August 12th to August um, 18th with the Six of Wands. Like I said, you're going to have the rewards, you're going to have the, uh, the appreciation, the recognition, and all of those kind of things. The thing is that Six of Wands is short-lived, and it's not the end of the road yet. Like I said, maintenance here is the rule of the game. So you cannot take your breath. You don't have the luxury to take your breath and just enjoy. You have to show that you are even better than that, okay? That this is just a, a fraction, a portion of your capabilities. The accompanied card here is going to be the Hierophant. The formation it is the active neutrals. It does point to the orthodox, so the unorthodox approach, all right? It does point to the these rather slinky moves you did back in the days. And the good thing here is that it's only, it only proves that you don't have to be always doing things by the book. Not like slinky, slinky things, but I would say that you didn't done it by the book, but still produced results in a much larger scale, which is a good thing, all right? And it only proves that you can, how can I place it, um, well, uh, pretty much this uh, rules out what I said, that you cannot proceed doing these things like that, but it only says that you need to be more comfortable, because the more you cross the line, the more distrust you place into the people around you, and trust is something very, very important. As a matter of fact, you do have a, a key person here of the Queen of Pentacles, which you start here at the week with the benefit of her trust or of his trust. It could be as well a man, all right? But will you be able to maintain it? That is another deal. And the more reckless you are, because unorthodox moves are always related to recklessness, all right? So I would say that way, the more reckless you are, the more distrustful you seem, or the more distrustful you become. Unreliable, person who cannot be predicted, person who cannot be organized, all right? All these kind of stuff. And with some extreme lengths, a madman, someone who is very, who, who would sacrifice everything. So this is something you want to avoid. 
Uh, the next one is going to be the challenges that you need to face here. And uh, with the temperance, everything comes around with its perks, either good or bad. So you have your conquest. Well, congratulations. You have the rewards, but you also have the chores that it demands, the maintenance, all right? And therefore, you will find it very difficult to deal with them, not because they are difficult by its nature, but because they are going to be either boring, aggravating, irritating, all these kind of names. It's simply, this will be the last thing you want to attend, but it has to be attended. So you can maintain it, so you can adopt this balanced position and balanced standpoint, you know, in between the ruin and the and the all that, uh, all, all the rest, <clears throat> you know, and show to the people and also not to the people as well but to the universe that you are willing to to work for it if you want to say it that way the temperance is about solidarity compassion you know and and all that's uh, recognition that things are different from one another in a sense of that um, two people for example have different uh, different opinions on the same thing does this make them good or evil? No, it just makes them different, okay? So there will be many, my point here is that this uh, stepping stone that you have, uh, that you have conquer, conquered, all right? This achievement of yours comes around with as well a, a different results. I'm saying as well, not entirely, with also different results that you failed to foresee, chores, and you will have to attend to them. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Wands, Formation, Active Supporters, and oh my, I mean, it will uh, it will require from you to, to be, first of all, very, very patient, guys. Second of all, it will require from you to uh, be, to act in a different manner, something that I said before, you know, that it requires a different sets of skills and different set of, 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 of different mindset, because the Nine of Wands represents these... Um, adaptations that everybody needs to do. I mean, as you can see on the picture, this man has everything that he fought for behind him, uh, already tired from all the battles, and now it's it's wondering, you know, how is to keep it straight. Now it's, it's preparing for what is to come to face it. And these preparations are requiring, you know, a, a different, like I said, approach and mindset as well so uh i it does look like as this week is gonna be a, a bit of a, a teaching week as well i mean you're gonna learn a great deal of, of lessons here that aggression uh first of all and um also no activity is not always the answer okay sometimes you have to be more milder sometimes you need to be patient sometimes you need to be more calculative and all these kinds of stuff that they may produce better results and for maintenance of your newly found relationship for example or newly found marriage or newly started project job friendship you name it I, uh, you no longer have to be that aggressive person. You, you, you no longer have to be, um, you know, this, uh, this bruising guy or a woman or, or this ambitious person. Okay, you only have to be someone who shows that it you care, and by that you need to attend to those things. Like I said, those chores which may seem rather repul repulsive, but they are necessity. Uh, then the next one is going to be the positive aspect here, and we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles, it's a, a very self-absorbed person, a woman most likely, but it could be as well a man. Uh, this person, uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles, they highly valued achievements, all right? They highly valued, they are highly valuing um, what one is capable of it doesn't matter how big it is all right the whole point for this uh, woman here or a man is that you uh, toiled and now you are rewarded of your toil but the thing is that the queen it's always more concerned of sustaining you know rather than more uh, rather than uh, new additions so in a positive uh, way, this win is going to help you sustain what you have. And as we said, that you will need very very quickly to readapt uh, from a, a warmongry state, 
that's figuratively spoken into states of sustainability, this queen is going to help you to do that. This queen is going to point you, this person is going to point you what is substantial for you to do, how you know you can maintain your position into the uh, board of directors, for example, into the company that you are recently promoted into a senior partner, all right, or how you can maintain your relationship now since you are with this handsome girl, all right, because it's one thing to impress the girl and to say, yes, okay, let's try, but it's another thing to maintain uh, this continuous impression, all right, it's just two different things. So this, this woman is going to help you to focus on what is substantial so you can traverse this uh, very temporary, temporal success into a, a long-lasting one. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, <clears throat> passive supporters. So with the Six of Pentacles, first of all, I would say that this woman is going to be always behind your back. What I mean is that it will always have your back. I'm sorry. But the thing is that uh, she, uh, no woman, it could be as well a man. Just, uh, but the thing is that this person cannot alter ultimately the outcomes. I mean, they can help you, but at the end, it will re the, the efforts needs to be exerted from you. You very well are going to understand that, and which gives you the perk to decide, you know, what kind of a shape your achievement is going to have, right? Additionally to that, um, these cards are speaking also that this, uh, this person, Queen of Pentacles, takes you as a... Uh, natural born leader. Well, it's kind of like amplified to say that, uh, but well, the, let's say that uh, she deserves, she thinks that you deserve it. I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be as well a man, all right? So you deserve it. It is simply a, a natural result of your previous toils. And that's why this person, Queen of Pentacles, feels compelled to help you maintain it because this person very well understands that that is probably the first time you have so much on your platter and everybody it's normal to feel lost or to be uh, very apprehensive into how to sustain it and how to react and what kind of actions to take and that's why uh queen of queen of uh, pentacles excuse me is gonna help you whatever whenever i said queen of wands don't mind me, it was Queen of Pentacles. So finally, we do have the Guidance here, and that is the King of Pentacles. Uh, Guidance-wise, King of Pentacles, it's very uh, it's very similar to the Queen. By the way, these are the two um, uh, court cards which are very similar to one another. Because the King of Pentacles is all, it's also very focused on the achievements that he accomplished up until this point and does not really care about new additions. Well, it does care more than the Queen of Pentacles, but not by a large margin. What I mean here, it is that the, the king is, 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 is open for additional conquests, but this time around, because the king has, it's very comfortable with where the king is finding himself at, uh, the deal has to be pretty damn impressive. So the king um, kind of contributes into the new endeavors. Also, the king is uh, self-absorbed. It's, it's kind of like somewhat sedated as well. It's very proud of, of his work. So as a guidance card, the king of uh, pentacles here urges you, uh, at least in my eyes, guys, is to perfectionalize these uh, stepping stones of the Six of Wands. And only when you have them just as good as you wanted them to be, only then think of how you are to sprout, right? The uh, next card is going to be the Devil Formation. It is the uh, Passive Supporters. And uh, the more you consolidate, or the more solid you make those uh, stepping stones those achievements of the six of wands the more power you're gonna have to a point where you will find yourself very capable to dictate rules to call shots to force circumstances okay so if you have been bossed around up until this moment should you play your cards right throughout this week august 12th to august 18th well, even if you are not the boss on the paper, you are going to be um, you are going to be crowned 
by the circumstances. And that is even more important because in the, in the old um, Arabic world, the sultan was the uh, the ruler of the uh, of the empire of the caliphate or whatever but everybody knows that actually the vizier was the one who caused the shot right so this is what i'm trying to say here but maybe on paper you may not be the boss but the circumstances is gonna crown you as such so uh that being said this was your weekly tarot reading cancer of uh, august 12th to august 18 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around and until then bye